Hi, welcome to the CMIP studio here at NAB Show 2022. I'm Claire Plasted, and here today I'm joined with Stefan Lederer, CEO of Bitmovin. Hi, welcome. Thank you for having me, hi. Hi, so tell me a little bit about your company. So Bitmovin provides like video infrastructure software for like everything you need to build like an OTT streaming service. We mm -hmm. do video compression, we do video players, and we do video analytics. We have big um, ecosystems of partners for the like all the pieces left and right of it. And yeah, we, we focus on powering everything OTT streaming from like the most like pristine brands that you know in the industry to like new companies that just get started and mm -hmm. come to us and like build the first infrastructure. So it's a super interesting market for us and we are happy to play a role in it. Wow, so um, what makes you different from other companies in this space? So we have uh, like deep standardization and research and technology background. So we try to really push the limits in terms of like what is possible in terms of video streaming. We want to shape the future of video streaming with our technology. Mm -hmm. So we try to be first to market with like new codecs, new innovations, um, new technologies. And um, that's something that like you can see in our products. We have a ton of new launches here at the show um, that depict that really, really well. Okay, so what are you showing here at NAB? So on our video compression business and our video encoder, we released our next generation, um, next generation video encoder mm -hmm. for video on demand. So specifically enabling like like innovations like per title, multi-codec support, new codecs like for example AB1 and BBC, mm -hmm. but also like HDR components, 4K um, features, as well as like scaling features to do like downscaling from 4K to like HD and from HDR to SDR, but also upscaling of like like heritage content from like your past as a content provider. You have like 50 years of content in your vault, so you want to like remaster it, upscale it to like 1080p or even like 4K. Mm -hmm. So we use a super resolution feature for that. So we packaged all of that in this new encoding product and I'm really proud to say that's the best video on demand encoder on the market. And that really moves the needle. You can stream like 4K HDR at 1080p bit, bit rates. Wow. So it's like really opening up possibilities for our customers and for their viewers mm -hmm. um, in terms of quality and I mean it also gives our customers a possibility to like take the billions of dollars of investment in content also to the screens of the viewers like all of the content today the new content is produced in HDR and in 4k so we should also stream it in the highest possible quality mm -hmm. at the end of the day and um, that's the purpose of the next generation encoder. As well, on the player side, we released our Streamlab. Over the last years, we invested quite a lot in stability. Yes, we are in 2022, and we are still talking about playback errors and, and buffering problems and things like that, because the amount of devices is just exploding. Mm. The amount of smart TVs and connected devices and like set-up boxes, but also different browsers and so on, is really hard to manage. We as a also player vendor, like see that on a daily basis. So we need to invest in like bulletproof um, delivery processes and like like software development processes. Mm -hmm. And the Streamlab is a part of that. And so we thought, okay, if we use our Streamlab to test streams on all types of different devices, that's probably also useful for our customers. So we launched a product where our customers can like submit their streams. And we test it on like dozens, if not hundred different devices, multiple generations of like low end and high end smart TVs of different brands and like um, browsers and mobile devices and stuff like that. So you exactly know where it breaks. Right. And you don't necessarily have to figure it out in production. You can figure out before you go into production and before you get the ripple effects of like negative press and negative like social media or mm -hmm. customer support and stuff like that. So we're pretty excited about that product um, and are keen to see what's the feedback of the market for it. Um, and that are two big releases. Wow, there's a lot, lot going on this year for you. So um, can you give us a hint of what we might find, find from your business in the next year? I mean yeah, we 
we now have after two years finally again a trade show and yeah. it's like we focused on two releases for this trade show but we actually have a lot more to come over the next 12 months we are going to see a lot more from bitmoment on the live encoding side we released our video on demand encoder next generation video on demand encoder now so you might are going to see our next generation live encoder for the cloud mm -hmm. um, coming coming to to the market in the next 12 months on the player side we see a lot of innovation so we like players always get a little bit the the perception of being a commodity product but still if i look into the app store reviews of the streaming services out there if you see like all the problems that the market has with the multiplicity and growing amount of devices and complexities around that now we are seeing a lot of like ad supported streams like mm -hmm. being like launched in terms of like like ad supported additional models to s -word. so the complexity is like really 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 exploding mm. and so we want to build the player category with our analytics our um our stream lab and things like that to really build the most the most stable but also the most innovative and the most quality leading suite of products and you're going to see a lot more around that over the next 12 months as well um and yeah, let's see what else we have um, as, as upcoming things. But there are two, two things that we're working on that I'm very excited about. That's really exciting, exciting times. Well, thank you so much for coming to speak to me here today in the studio. I'm very happy to be here. Thanks you for, thank you for having me. And thank you for taking the time. I, I think you have a busy show, so. Thank you.